Fish, not oil. Fish, not oil. Fish, not oil. We live in the environment, we breathe from the environment, we feed from the environment. The environment is all that we are, it's our life. So if you don't take part in environmental struggles today as a young person, then you are doing yourself a great harm and you are causing problems for your generations to come. It is our fight. It is not for the old people. They've done their own. An old man of over 70 or between the ages of 70 has said she used the rivers to feed her children, to take them to schools. Now she is old and retired. It's now our time to fight the fight and install the change that we want in our society. especially is um, a diagnostic dialogue to um, look at the issues affecting communities, coastal communities and um, non-coastal communities, the impact of the extractive activities on their lives and livelihood and at how it has affected generations. something that the fishers should know about, it's something they should be prepared for, it's something they should understand so as to be sure that they're not, uh, while the oil company facility will be stranded, the community should not be stranded. I don't need to be present for me to suffer it. I've not been there when stories are carried out, spillages are occurring, but I have felt it. This was what my dad did, this was what my man, my mom did on my behalf. It's left for us now as the present generation to take our stand, to strategize and to ensure we fight for environmental justice and a sustained environment that will our children tomorrow will look at us and say, yes, my dad was actually part of the group of persons that fought for the betterment and the cleanness of our environments. <laughs>